All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna get this thing started. A Coronado gym is taking on a novel concept, working out their kindness muscles as part of their March Madness Challenge. Our tennis reporter Cassie Carlisle says the competition gets pretty heated, making these fitness fiends positively San Diego. The moment you walk into sweat equity, you feel the positivity painted on the walls. We really kind of played it off of our off of our tagline, which is invest in yourself. Owner Nick Merrill grew up in a family invested in community. My dad was he founded this charity called Hearts and Hammers, where we built built houses for people that didn't have enough money. Up in Whidbey Island, north of Seattle, Washington, where he fell in love with working out. I met my wife through working out. We started running marathons together and uh, ended up doing some charity runs where we ran across Washington State and earned a bunch of money for uh, charities in Africa, built a school, we built some three, wells. Two, one, and let's go, we're on. Naturally, when they opened their doors in San Diego six years ago, Good job. Yes. they wanted to marry their gym with good deeds. We do like a few different challenges a year. Their March Madness challenge is bracket style. We mimic the basketball, the NCAA basketball tournament. Each round will have a specific, a specific random act of kindness that everyone will do. Each act of kindness earns the team a point in the tournament paired with points earned with workouts. And there we go, guys. All right, so we just got one more, guys. In years past, it's been anything from buying a coffee for someone to putting change in someone's parking meter. One year, they flex their giving muscles pretty hard. We brought in over 2,000 pounds of food, um, you know, in in one day, basically. Hoping this year their impact will reverberate through San Diego. It's so rewarding. It just makes you feel so good and it makes the person that you uh, helped out feel so good. In Coronado, Cassie Carlisle, 10 News. It's a win-win. Yeah, I love this. I have a little tidbit too about that trophy. Yeah. Cassie told me, so it gets passed on. The winning team gets it, okay. but it carries on year after year. That's so. a great idea, yeah. even better. So <laughs> we're told the challenge starts March 16th, and the winning team will be announced April 1st. And as I just said, they get a big trophy, but it goes on to the winners next year. So just keeps on giving. Yeah, great. <laughs>